Ravelry, The Power of Yarn by Katie Dunbeck for the Bigwig Social Software Showcase at the American Library Association Annual Conference in Anaheim, California for 2008. In 2007, the Craft Yarn Council estimated there were 38 million consumers in the United States who knitted and or crocheted. They made an average of 21.2 projects and 7.4 yarn purchases last year. Of those surveyed who used the internet, approximately 18% used it to find patterns or locate new project ideas. Anecdotally, Knitters and crocheters are very social people. The origin of the term stitch and bitch, referring to a social knitting group, has been traced back to the time of World War II. In April 2007, a social network centered around the knitting community was released in beta form. The power of a social network where knitters and crocheters could inventory their projects, yarn stash and pattern stash, as well as connect with knitters and crocheters around the world, caught the community's imagination, and sign-ups for invitations to the site reached the point where it could take up to three months to receive your invitation. This wait was due to the planned control of growth by the site's founders. I received my invitation in July 2007 and have been an active user ever since. I often refer to Ravelry as the library thing for knitters and crocheters. Currently, there are over 140,000 registered users of Ravelry from all over the world and the waiting time has been reduced to two days. Let me take you on a tour so you can understand the rich resources available in a specialized social network for a passionate community of interest. In order to access the resources of Ravelry, you must have an account. If you serve a community where fiber arts is a strong interest area, you may want to consider setting up a library account, if you don't have a personal one, for the reference support it can provide. The most frequent questions of librarians from knitters and crocheters have to do with pattern information. The index of patterns that has been built up by Ravelry users has no equal of which I am aware. The same as faculty members in academic library, masters of the fight needle arts are often looking for citation information. Searching for the Montego Bay scarf brings back the following information. Author, publishing citation, suggested yarn, yarn type, yarn gauge, amount of suggested yarn needed, notes from the author, and number of individual projects associated with the pattern. Individual project pages can also be very useful in identifying deviations from the pattern, often the t in the type of and amount of yarn used, and notes regarding the specific project. The information on yarn is the next greatest valuable reference tool in Ravelry. The index information allows users to compare individual yarns to each other both for substitution suitability in patterns and sparking project ideas for knitters and crocheters. Comments regarding the yarn can be quite informative for future purchases. Some reference questions may be in regards to the identification of specific yarns. At this point, it may be helpful if a staff member is familiar with yarn terms and to guide the patron through the identification process using Ravelry's index. The social aspects of Ravelry, in addition to providing richer information for the reference tools, allow for users to connect in various ways. The groups and forums are the primary ways users interact. 
groups have been created around geographic location, school affiliation, special interest topics, and more. These groups also allow for users to self-select how involved they want to be with the greater community. The forums are the discussion boards associated with groups and is the primary way users and groups interact. You do not have to be a member of a group in order to post in their forum. A great example of how valuable the forums are to the community is the discussion of the recent flooding in Iowa. The nearly immediate posts of how flooding was affecting individuals showed both the heartache of the disaster and the joy of being able to comfort and support one another through the crisis. Librarians should be aware of specialized social networks that pertain to interests in their communities due, sh due to the rich reference resources these networks can offer. If you have any questions regarding Ravelry at the ALA conference, Look for people wearing any of these types of items. The t-shirts say Ravelry.com on the back of the neck. Or carrying yarn and needles or hooks. Thank you again and have a wonderful time.